Hey everyone, it's Laurel. Today I want to show you these little um, accordion pocket mini albums that I made. And so the reason they're accordion pockets is because they're in the style of an accordion mini album. They stretch out to a full 24 inches long. And each of the pages that make up the accordion is a pocket that holds a tag. So there's a really a lot of space um, for pictures and journaling and stuff. Um, the closure on these is this little stretchy band and I want to show you how I um, do that. Both of these are going to be available as kits on my Etsy shop. The link will be in the description. I'll show you those kits in a minute. First I want to show you how this stretchy closure works. So this is the second um, accordion album. And these are really good as like little brag books. You can just stick them in your purse and the closure makes sure that nothing falls out and your pictures don't get all messy. Um, so again, each of these little pockets holds a tag like that. So the way the closure works is um, in your kit you'll get the book like this. It's a 24 inch seamless accordion album and the back cover comes pre-punched with this hole in the center. Um, so that looks like this once you've covered it with pattern paper. So all you have to do is cover the chipboard um, covers with the pattern paper and then put your eyelet in and then all you do is take the stretchy band and I use um, just a pencil and you can just shove the band through the eyelet and then once you get it started you can just pull it through with your finger so that it's like that and if you take a look here, all I did was once I got the band through the eyelet, I took this pin and I put it through like that, close the pin up, and then when you pull the band back through, the pin holds it in place, like so. And then you can just take your stretchy band and close your book up like that. So that's really cute. Um, the first kit I want to show you is going to be this one with the little birdies on it. So I really like this paper because of this bird here. And so the chipboard covers on the book are 4 inches by 4 inches. Each of the pages is 4 inches as well. Um, but the reason I like these papers for this project is because of this sheet here. So if you look at this page, if you cut it into quarters, each of these little birds fits perfectly on the cover. So I use this one here um, for my front cover. I put some crackle accents on him, but um, you can see how nicely it fits. All I did was cut this sheet into four pieces and I use this bird on the back. So those are really cute. And then this uh, paper set also comes with this sheet and these are like journaling spots. So I just took this sheet and I mounted it onto a piece of plain cardstock and I used it for um, journaling tags like here um, and here. I used a couple more. So these are single sided sheets but um, they're really cute, they're kind of soft, muted colors, not really bright, um, but really pretty. So along with the pattern papers, you'll get four 4 inch by 12 inch solid color cardstock sheets. These are going to be for you to make your tags in the pockets. And then these two 8.5 by 11 sheets of cardstock. I just use these um, to mount the journaling spots on. And then like these pieces, I cut them out of the design paper. So I just back them with this 
cardstock to give them a little bit more stability. And then in here, you get these two little tag pockets. Um, this is what they look like here. And then the tags that fit into the pockets, like this one here. And then the ribbon that you need for your tags and also for the side bindings here because this um, accordion piece is one continuous length. All I did was I took these ribbons um, and tied them through the holes. They come pre-punched in your book so I just put the ribbon through there to kind of close off the pockets on my book. And then also these chipboard tags. Um, each of the kits will come with this package of Can Company chipboard letters so that you can put um, whatever title you want on your book. This one will come with this flower for the cover and then um, this bling here that's on the cover. These are the pearls that I used on one of the flowers on the inside of the book. You'll get these Prima flowers, this stretchy band for your closure, and then these plain chipboard pieces that you can paint or ink or glitter or do whatever you want. Um, you'll get the trinket pin and the eyelet for your closure, and then just some uh, brads and buttons and paper clips and some bling. Uh, because the book has to, you know, it kind of closes like that and it has to be kind of flat, the embellishments um, were put together with that in mind so that your book will close nicely. Okay, so that's the first one. For the next one, um, these papers are really fun, bright colors. Uh, same size, they're going to be 8 by 8 These are double-sided. But the reason I like this collection for this project is because of this sheet. And all of these patterns, they're kind of scaled down, so they're a little bit smaller. They'll fit on the 4-inch book really nicely. But this sheet has these really cute little um, pictures that you can use for embellishing. It also comes with these um, punch-out pieces that are little pictures like these. I just used those, um, like here for example, on my tag as an embellishment. And they're just really cute, fun, little pictures. So, along with the 12 8x8 pattern papers, you'll also get these 4 4 inch by 12 inch solid color card stocks to make your tags again. Also, the two tag pockets. On this one, I put mine here with this little tag in the pocket. You also get the tags, again, that fit in that little tag pocket. This rickrack, I used mine on the cover here. And then you'll get the ribbons, again, for your tag, to tie onto your tags, and for your side bindings here, and these little chipboard tags. Um, the Can Company chipboard letters for your title again. Your stretchy band for your closure. These are going to be the journaling spots for this book. It's like a grid pattern and then um, all you have to do is adhere it to the scallop circle that's cut out of the design paper that matches the collection. These Prima flowers. 
this glitter chipboard piece. I used this on the cover. I already covered it with glossy accents so that um, you don't have glitter falling everywhere. Also get these plain chipboard pieces. You can glitter these, paint them, ink them again. And then also your trinket pin and eyelet that you'll use on your closure. And then just some paper clips, buttons, bling, there's little jeweled brads. So that's it for the little mini accordion pocket albums. Again, these are just cute little fun projects, um, good for bride books to keep in your purse or um, something like that. So thank you for watching my video and I hope you all have a great day. Bye!